What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Six Days. I am Bob Six. <clears throat> right off the bat, please notice, new zit. Don't know what the fuck made me decide to pop it right before I did this, but I know it's there. <clears throat> Number two. Thank you to the two new subscribers I got. That brings me to a big whopping total of 15. And I know I sound sarcastic, but I really do appreciate those of you that have subscribed. I appreciate all of you that have watched or that watch, but I really appreciate those that have subscribed. So sincerely, even though I sound sarcastic, thank you very much. Today, I'm going to continue my being real. To kick it off, I've had several people over this past week let me know. They don't. They almost seem like they didn't want to be confrontational. I always say, these are my opinions. See, I put myself out there. Like it or not, I don't care. I put it out there. I'm not trying to upset anybody or hurt anybody's feelings. Even though I do. Imagine if I applied myself, which I have done before. I could really upset some people. But these are my opinions. And you're entitled to yours. But I've had several people confront me. And instead of just saying, I think you're full of shit. Or I disagree with you. They simply said, that's your opinion. It is. I say that. These aren't facts. Unless, if I say something's a fact, that means I've researched it. And it's common knowledge, a fact. Most of this shit is just how I live my life, how I see things, what I think about things. My opinion. Those of you that got smug with me, your argument against my opinion is your opinion. Doesn't make it a fucking fact. Doesn't make it right. It may be right for you. That's how you live. That's how you think th about things. That's how you're happy. That's fine. That doesn't make me wrong. I'm open to discussions. So you could say, well, I feel this way. We could have a better discussion about it and we will know each other better. But to just come up and go, I watched your video. That's just your opinion. Yeah, it is. I say that. Number two thing you need to remember. They're my videos. You want to express your opinion, which most of you won't do because a lot of people are chicken shit because they're going to say something that's not popular and everybody's going to hate on them. I put this shit out there. I haven't gotten any hate. I do get private messages and stuff from people that go, um, yeah, I really agree with you. I, that takes balls to say that. I haven't really said anything in quite a while that I think takes balls to say. It's about being comfortable with who you are and happy with who you are. I sleep very well at night when I go to sleep. And not just because I'm getting older and I just fucking randomly fall asleep from time to time. Uh, I'm comfortable with who I am. I'm not phonying it up for anybody. Which brings me to my next point. I almost understand those of you that are phony to a degree in front of other people. Uh, like the people who agree with me that won't openly admit they agree with me, they'll send me a message and go, yeah, I agree with that, but I didn't want to post it. I'm not even hating on you. Not everybody has the self-confidence that I do. I didn't always have it. I developed this. My biological father used to beat the fuck out of us. Talk about what? Constantly putting us down. We could never do any right. I had to become who I am. I can't say 100% on my own. I saw things that I liked. But as far as being as outgoing as I am and putting it out there and firmly believing that I'd rather be loved for who I am than hated, or hated for who I am, than love for who I'm not. 
I'll develop that on my own. But I kind of understand those of you that feel like you don't want to make waves and you just want to kind of drift along. I kind of get that. The part I have a problem with is those of you that are phony with yourselves. You tell yourselves, well, I'm this and I'm that and I'm that and I'm this. And you're not. And you fucking know you're not. <clears throat> uh, it's really kind of sad that you have to lie to yourself. You'll say one thing and do the total opposite. Like people who, before I quit doing stand-up, without, without being provoked from me or me bringing up, hey, when's the next time you're doing a show? I'd like to come see you. Why would you do that? Now, if I ask you, I'm kind of asking for it. If I go, hey, why don't you come see a show? I'm kind of asking for it if I put you on the spot like that. But for you to just randomly, out of the, the fucking clear blue sky, go, hey, when are you doing a show, I'd like to come see you. You know, as well as I don't, I do, you ain't coming. Why? I don't understand people doing that. And people do that kind of shit all the time. Hey, you going snowboarding next week? I'd like to go. You've never been fucking snowboarding. That doesn't make any sense. It kind of looks weird the way the lighting is. My sunburn looks like it's just around my neck or suntan, whatever the fuck. See, it looks like, oh my God. <sighs> just jokes. I don't know what it is. It's lighting. That looks weird. Holy shit. It's just the lighting, I hope. Um, but I don't understand people doing that shit. If I hear you're going to do something shitty, I don't say, hey, can I go do that? Or something I've never, I'm going to say something I've never done. I might like to try something. And I might like to say I like to try that sometime. But I'm not going to put that on you and go, hey, why don't you take me with you? I've taken people out to play golf for the first time. And it fucking ruins my day of playing golf. I haven't played golf in a long time. But I love playing golf. Love it. I can't stress how much I love playing golf. Not a very popular thing. I think the only way I can make it worse is to listen to Air Supply while I play golf. And then people would be like, ugh! But, I had a friend who said, oh yeah, me and my friends, we play golf. So I was like, well fuck, I'm going to play golf today. Why don't you go with me? Turns out, he didn't know how to play. Not even kind of. So I spent our whole time out there teaching him how to play. And it's not that I was the best, but he was that much worse than me. So I helped his golf game, but it ruined the whole day. I had paid my green fees. Didn't get to play. You see what I'm saying? Why would you do that? Now, if you said to me, hey, I'm trying to learn. Could you help me? Then we could just go out to a fucking driving range, and then we could do that. It's a hell of a lot cheaper. And that's specifically what we're there for. So I try not to impose shit on people like that. I, I try not to rush into them. But so many people, for whatever reason, hey, hey, don't do that. Uh, I was going to write these down, have a little sheet, so I'd have a better flow. But uh, rehearsing, because I was told this is kind of annoying, kind of breaks it up, loses people's attention. But... Most people quit watch it after like three minutes anyway, so only the people who really know me and like me watch the whole video and they know how I talk anyways. Phony people. I don't understand. I, 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 tr I try to understand why people feel that need to, to fit in. I don't want to fit in. I like being that guy over there. I don't want to fit in. And I learned that. And those those people, the outsiders, are the ones that made the best friends for me. Because they're not trying to phony it up for anybody either. And they know most people don't like them. And you didn't have to be phony with them. They accept you for who you are. I have people all the time tell me, well, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. You're a fucking liar. I know when the words leave your mouth, you're fucking lying. Which makes it even worse. Because now not only are you phony... You're a liar. See what I'm saying? I try to help people all the time when they come to me. 
and they go, hey, how do you do this? How do you? I have friends that literally ask me different shit all the time about how I handle stress or how I handle, I battle depression or how do I handle literally being, and fucking cats are about to annoy me. Shut the fuck up. How do I handle actually being a little off in the head? I've worked at it hard, and I work at it hard to this day. Depression still grabs me by the short and curly sometimes and drags me around. And sometimes it'll, it'll actually get me, and then I, I work on it to get out of it. That doesn't mean it's cured. I've learned to cope. Because my generation, we learn to cope a lot. Otherwise, you got your fucking ass whooped. That's how shit worked. I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying that's why I'm the way I am. As far as I cope with this shit. I mean, when I first started suffering from depression, I didn't even know what it was. Because I wasn't sad. I wasn't thinking about killing myself. I've only thought about that once in life. And it wasn't even really that. I'm like, <laughs> I gotta do it. It wasn't like that. Uh... But I did reach the end of my rope one time and think, what the, what's the fucking point? So, I came back from that, which is another reason. It's not that I'm super special. I'm just bound and determined to go on. So I think everybody can do it. I did it. I've done it. I do it. Everybody should be able to do it. So, I think as friends and people, the more real you can be with someone, the better friend you should be. I know so many people that will say, oh yeah, let's get to know each other. Holy shit. I didn't know that. And I didn't know that. They don't actually come out and say that. They just fucking quit talking to you. Uh, I've had friends because I won't blow smoke up their ass to make them feel good about something that's not good. Now, don't get me wrong. I lift my friends up. I want to see my friends succeed. I want to see most people, people I don't even fucking know, succeed. There's so much hate and negativity in the world. To see somebody doing something positive and succeeding, that's amazing to me. So I'm so supportive of that, but I'm especially supportive over it with my friends and family. However, if you're doing some dumb, ignorant shit... Or you're doing horrible at whatever it is you're doing. I'm not going to tell you you're doing great. I think that's one reason that both my kids succeed. We didn't bullshit them. Now we didn't come out and go, well that's a fucking piece of shit. That's ugly. That sucks ass. We did good parenting ways of trying to get through it. You know, to help guide them. We gave our kids... The tools to succeed. And both my kids are very real. Now they're very polite and courteous. My daughter is more like me than my son. But they both have my temper. And once you set them off, you fucked up. But, <clears throat> so it's not like they're just running around being little dickheads like you see on the news all the time. Uh, little Timmy didn't do nothing wrong. Really? Because he knocked the fucking windows out of someone's house and lit their carpet on fire and stole all their prescription drugs. I literally know someone who said that the cops were mad and just fucking with them because they arrested his grandson because he broke into someone's home and stole their prescription medication. They're just fucking with him. No, he broke the law in a big way. My kids will tell you, I've told them, I love them unconditionally, no matter what. And even if they did something that I'm totally against, if they wound up in prison, I'll just say for murder. Killing someone and murder are two different things. So not just killing someone like in self-defense. Murdering someone. As against that as I am, just murdering an innocent person, I would still love them and I would still come see them every Sunday but I'm not spending a dime trying to get them out. They knew right from wrong, and they fucked up, and they chose to do wrong. Doesn't mean I love them less. That's how it is. Both my children know, and my granddaughter is learning, 
For every action in life, there is a reaction. Don't do a fucked up action and expect a positive action, reaction. Like I tell my granddaughter and I tell my kids, don't do something wrong and expect me to high five you. It's not going to happen. There are consequences. When I had long hair and wore eyeliner and all that shit, I knew how society would react, but I didn't fucking care because that's what I wanted to do. I dress the way I do because I want to. I bathe the way I do because I want to. I wipe my ass because I want to. I use baby wipes when I wipe my ass because I want to. I wear whatever, cologne, uh, deodorant, all that's for me. I don't give a shit what's in style or what anybody else likes. I'm me. And you should be you. So, to wrap it all up nice and neat, even if you don't have the balls to be 100% you all the time, and this is how it is, and I don't mean being rude and just, well, I'm just fucking rude like that. I don't mean that at all. I'm not that way. What I mean is, like when I said I like air supply, do you know how many fucking people when I say that, they go, really? Or with a person. That happens a lot. A lot, a lot. Someone's cool with you away from the, the in crowd, but as soon as around, they're like, you like that person? Yeah. I've never once said that I don't like someone just because everybody else says they don't. If I like you when nobody else is, when no one's around, I like you when the whole fucking world's looking. I don't give a shit. But I know a lot of people that do. That's fucked up. That's not opinion. That's a fact. For whatever reason, people do that. Now, that would be my opinion and their opinion. But it's a bona fide fact that if you like someone when no one else is around, but you fucking shit on them either behind their back when they're not around and you're with your cool friends... Or when you're confronted, oh, no, I don't like that motherfucker. I was just doing this because you're a fucking piece of shit. That's a fact. I don't give a shit what anybody says. That's a fact. Justify it in your mind however you want. In life, we all have excuses, myself included. We all have excuses, and excuses are just a way of trying to justify failure. Period. That's it. I used this example the other day, and I'm going to use it. Again, I can't remember if I used it on the video, but I know I used it to someone. Andrew Dice Clay once said in the 80s, you either suck dick or you do not. And that is not true. You may have sucked a dick, but that doesn't mean you suck dick. You probably had a reason for doing it. Like if you were in prison and it's get your ass kicked or suck my dick. If you can't fight or you don't feel like getting your ass kicked, I mean, I would get my ass kicked over it, but we all have our weaknesses and feel that we have to take our own path. So, so like in a scenario like that, or someone had a gun to your head, suck my dick or I'm going to shoot you. That doesn't mean you suck dick. That means you suck day dick. So, the way I see it, more accurate is either you have sucked a dick or you have not. There is no in-between. There's no gray area. You have or you have not. You are either phony or you are not. Period. There's no, oh, kind of. Kind of jump off a roof. Kind of jump in front of a speeding truck. There is no kind of. You either did or you did not. You are either phony or you are not. Son of a bitch, I'm coming up on 20 minutes. I doubt very many people watch this far, but you know what? Those of you that have, you're fucking awesome. And I appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. I got two new subscribers, so I'm up to 15. Tell your friends. If you think you got someone that would dig what I'm saying, tell them. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you hated it, hit the thumbs down. If you got something to say, say it. Say it in the comments. Send me a message. However the fuck you want to do it, do it. I really appreciate those of you that take the time to watch me in my fucking madness talking to the camera, giving my opinions about shit. So until next time, I am Bob Six. I hope all of you have a great day and make someone laugh if you can because 
There's enough hate and shit going on out there. Peace!